Hello everyone, I'm Jasmine and welcome back to another of my videos where today we are going to be doing a craft. Uh, so I already made one of them, it is a jar that you can just get from basically anywhere, but I got this from the Dollar Tree and obviously it was a dollar. <laughs> uh, but it's basically, you can paint it however you want, but we are going to be using a sponge to paint it, but um, like a sponge brush. But this is the one that I already made. Um, it's gonna be backwards, I think. <laughs> um, but this I made to be like space in the night sky. Uh, so I did the moon, I did a couple of stars, some sparkles in the sky, and then um, I'm just gonna show you this real quick. So this can uh, pop off like this if you just pop it off. And then if you turn on the lights that are in it, which I actually put in there, hold on. It'll look like that. Uh, so that's basically what we're going to be doing today. But it's going to be a bit different. Uh, it's going to be the like regular sky, I guess. It's going to have clouds. And it's going to have the sun. And it's just going to be blue. So it's going to be like the polar opposite of what that was. <laughs> um, so I just want to kind of show you guys my process of it. And how I made it. And uh, just make it along with you guys. And you can uh, buy everything in this video from the Dollar Tree. Uh, you can buy the paints, you can buy the sponges and brushes, you can buy the jar, uh, the lights, I think they sell at some Dollar Trees, not in mine currently, uh, because buy lights from anywhere. <laughs> um, but today we're going to be painting this uh, with these sponge brushes. Uh, that's basically all you're going to need. Um, I would say you should probably get the yellow ones that are like the circular ones <laughs> um, instead. But I've ruined the other ones, so we're using these instead. <laughs> um, and then you can also buy these cups if you want to. Uh, it's like comes in a pack of three and then you can just put the water obviously to clean the brushes. But I think you can buy everything in Dollar Tree. <laughs> so let's just get into the video, shall we? And I also forgot to mention that uh, the paints that we're going to be using is all these that are here. Uh, which these, hold on, let me just get them. These will be for the sky. Uh, this will be for the sun. And then this one will be for the clouds. Um, I don't have a pure white, so gray will work, but if you can find a white, then perfect. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to kind of specify that. Uh, I think I found these at Michael's. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was like in a packet of a few colors, like maybe four or five. Uh, so you can get them from there or just from anywhere, um, whatever colors that you want. Uh, you don't have to use the exact ones that I'm using. <laughs> um, but I just kind of wanted to say the colors that we're going to be using today. Let's get straight into the video again, shall we? Okay, so we are going to be starting with this craft, uh, but first, if you want to um, not make a mess, I'd recommend using a newspaper or maybe a paper bag, just anything of the sort, so make sure they don't get paint anywhere. Uh, you still might, <laughs> uh, I don't know how clumsy you are, but um, we are going to be starting with the light blue and maybe just doing that. And you're just going to want to do like a sponge, uh, like a, not really like, what is it, like this? Not like that. You're going to want to do it like this. So it makes like the bubbly look, I guess. <laughs> um, but you're just going to want to do that all the way uh, to whatever point you want to stop. And then sort of just do the lighter blue. Uh, until you make it into like a really, really pretty faded sky. Uh, so we're just going to continue this process all the way around. Uh, maybe do a couple of coats yet. I'm not too sure. <laughs> um, but we're just gonna go around like this. Actually, can I? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Try to make it so more convenient. Uh, and then for this part, I'm not too sure yet. We may do a yellow to match the sun. Uh, but again, not too sure yet. But I guess we'll figure that out along the way. Uh, and again, you can use whatever colors you want. You don't even have to do a sky. You can just do whatever you want. <laughs> uh, it doesn't have to be a sky. It could be... Uh, like the one I did previously, like this one, like I was showing. Uh, you can do, I don't know, green, yellow, you can just do whatever colors you want. Uh, you can do it just a full thing one color, you could change it up and do like multiple colors, like I said, faded, or just 
very, very bold. You can do a rainbow one even. It doesn't matter. Uh, but I'm gonna be doing a sky one today. And let's see. I don't really know. Because we're gonna be doing three blues. Uh, we're gonna be doing this blue. And then we're gonna be using uh, this blue right here. And then the lightest blue on the thing, like a baby blue. Uh, so I'm not. Maybe I'll stop there. Uh, but I'll just add a couple more little speckles, <laughs> uh, I guess you would say, or bubbles even, uh, to the thing, and I think that should be good. I think that's good, and then we'll do the blue, or like the turquoise, like, I don't even know, <laughs> and then the baby blue. So what we're gonna do is we are just going to wash it really quick with the water that we had done previously. But now some tissues over here. Just so you clean your brush, make sure you always clean your brush because if you leave it, it's going to ruin it. <laughs> um, so I think we're just going to use the same. I have uh, a bunch of different sizes of brushes that you can use over there. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, if you're using something like this, I recommend a smaller one. Just so that way you can actually fit uh, the sponge inside the paint circular thing, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Um, I think this will look really, really pretty, though. Obviously, it doesn't look too nice right now. Uh, but I think once we blend it and everything, I guess, I think it'll be looking a lot better than it does right now. Uh, but then we're just gonna do this, I think, to there. Maybe a little bit lower and then finish it off with a baby blue and then maybe do a second coat. Uh, but I just gonna do the full thing, or mostly the full thing, on camera. Maybe the second layer, not so much. Uh, just because that would be a bit boring. <laughs> um, we're just going to continue this. And I want to do many other crafting videos as well in the future. Uh, I have a couple of birdhouses that I painted a little while ago. And I'd really like to showcase them. And just like show what they look like. Because <laughs> um, I think they're really cute. Uh, one is a cabin that um, the roof was like a sky. And then the other was just like a plain house that I did more eastery colors on. Or like spring colors, I guess. Um, but I have two bird houses. I'd really like to show them and then of course do a little tutorial, <laughs> I guess. But it should be fairly simple to do it. But I love crafting. Crafting is just a really nice way to just have fun, I guess. And you can just do whatever you want with it. Um, but I say just go with it, go with the flow, and if it doesn't come out good, then you can always try next time. Or try and just, uh, fix it in whatever way that you can. But I think that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll blend it in some more. <laughs> oh, does that look like a sky? Maybe it does. Does it? I don't really know. But I guess we'll just go with it. Let's see. Let's just blend it in a bit more. <laughs> Um, does that look good? I think that looks pretty good. I'll show it up close. I don't know if that's focused, but this is what it looks like so far. Uh, and again, we're just gonna wash it and then, uh, start over, but with the baby blue. Uh, so this is going pretty good so far. Um, and if you'd like to see more crafting videos or gaming videos or every type of video, <laughs> uh, then definitely consider subscribing. That we very greatly appreciated. Uh, I think we hit 105 subscribers now, which is absolutely incredible. <laughs> uh, you guys are the best. I know I already said that in the fireworks video in the comment section, but I just really want to say thank you again because you guys are amazing. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be where I am now. So thank you very much. But if you like to subscribe, then you're more than welcome to. We make all different types of videos. Ooh, this is a really light blue. I hope this looks good. <laughs> uh, hopefully when we blend it in it will look better. Oh boy. Alright. But anyhow, we make a bunch of different types of videos. We make um, gaming videos like Animal Crossing and I also want to do a, a playthrough of Story of Seasons. Uh, I think that'd be a really really nice uh, playthrough. I got it, I go to say maybe a month ago. And I love the game <laughs> very, very much. It's a very good game. Uh, so I did do a little bit of like a... Like a try... a tryout video, I guess. And then if you guys like it, then I'll do a... Um, what is it even called? A playthrough? A series? A series. Goodness. A series. <laughs> uh, out of Story of Seasons. I think that would be really, really cool. I actually, I bought it 
because um, I did that video a little while ago about the chill games to play, and uh, I did one. Of the, I did Story of Seasons in that um, video, <laughs> and I was like, you know, this game actually looks really, really cool, so I got it. And it's if you don't know what it is, it's basically just like a farming simulator, and you go to this town and you meet a bunch of cool people. It's, it's really, really nice. <laughs> Um, this is not blending well. Oh boy. It looks more like the ocean. <laughs> Maybe it should be the ocean instead. Um, this is not blending well. Alright, well we'll just go with it. <laughs> like I said, just go with your crafts and it doesn't- if it doesn't come out good, then whatever. You know? At least you tried. Yeah, this really looks like the ocean. Well, I tried. The thought was good, but the execution was not as good. But you know? She's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, she was pretty cool. And, I don't know, you can take whatever way you want. You think it, it could be the ocean, it could be the sky, whatever you want it to be. <laughs> um, but I think it looks pretty good. You know what, I changed my mind. It looks pretty good. Um, and then we'll wait for this to dry. Uh, and then we'll add the clouds, like I said, with the gray paint. Hold on, it's right here. Um, it's Apple Barrel. Uh, let's see... 21,392 granite gray <laughs> so if you want to get that exact gray you can but the reason I'm using gray is because I don't have a uh, white pure white but you can get pure white I don't really know where <laughs> um you can get pure white pretty much anywhere I'm sure you can get it in Michaels or something but I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then we will paint this and then we will paint the other thing that goes along with it and then we will add the little uh, details, maybe we'll do a second layer, I'm not too sure yet. And then, um, put the lights in and then see the finished product. And then, like I said, you can add whatever you want to it, you can add a bow, fabric, whatever you want. But I'm doing a more simplified version. But I guess I'll see you guys when it dries. Alright, so now that this is completely dry, so now we will just be adding the little minor details, like the clouds on it. Um, and again, let me just show you a closer up shot of this, um, sky, I guess. Uh, but we are just going to add some clouds, uh, some happy little clouds, I guess you would say. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love, um, I love crafting, I love painting, I'm very much of an artist. <laughs> um, and you can take that however way you want, but I love, love crafting. So if you want to do this with me, you're more than welcome to. Uh, but I think I'll fill this in here, like that, and do this as well. Uh, it's not going to have the same effect, obviously, as a sponge brush, uh, but we're going to try our best. <laughs> um, let's see, let's just do that. Let's add a bit of that to there. Then we're just going to do maybe one more bigger one. Uh, over on this side to finish it off and uh, a little quick update for you guys I actually have a gerbil and a baby bunny <laughs> um, along with my two dogs I have a Yorkie and I have a poodle um, Yorkie is six years old and his name is ba ba his name's Caramel and uh, I have a poodle who is three and is named Bailey uh, and I love them both the pieces. <laughs> um, and then we just got two new animals recently, a gerbil and uh, a bunny. Uh, the bunny has no name yet, and the gerbil has a name named Bridget. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick little update on that. But let's do the sun now, which will be in the middle. Kind of just, you know, finish it all off. We're going to do it like this. No, I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I was also mentioning my schedule earlier. Um, and then I got kind of side sidetracked about a uh, story of seasons. But, um, what was I going to say? My schedule, not my schedule, gosh darn it, my, the whatever it's called, the, the content that I make, the content that I make, okay. Uh, so the content that I make is going to be gaming, like like I said, Animal Crossing, Story of Seasons, Mario, Zelda, whatever games you want. And then as for, 
as for uh, other type of videos, I'll be doing crafting videos, baking videos, because I have quite a few allergies. Um, just for, I'll just list the food allergies. I have, I'm allergic to milk, soy, casein, whey, peanuts, trinuts, coconut, beef, pork, shellfish, shrimp, banana, apples, oats, uh, soy, shrimp, did I say? Um, and uh, corn now, which I just got, I was just testing for today. Um, so I want to kind of do some allergy free baking videos to help others who may just want to eat healthier or maybe just help people that already have allergies and want to see what they can eat. Uh, and I have a lot of allergies to animals and uh, a lot more allergies to environmental and stuff. So I just want to do videos like that. I'll be doing vlogs of concerts and fan expos um, and all the sorts. <laughs> um and just videos like that so if you want to like i said if you want to watch content like that feel free to subscribe like the video whatever you would like to do uh it's all up to you but thank you again for 150 150 105 uh 100 500 <laughs> uh subscribers that is really incredible when i went into this I was really, really hoping uh, that I would blow up, but I never expected it to actually get to the point that it is. It is all thanks to you guys. <laughs> um, so I'm very, very grateful for that. But we have it. And it doesn't look great. But it also doesn't look bad. So now, this. So we are just going to do um, this. It is going to go over. Um, it kind of matches the gold, actually. I don't know if you can see that. So we're just going to paint it now. Um, but yeah, I want to do some baking videos, vlogs, all that sorts. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the content that I create. It's just a whatever channel. Whatever I feel like for that day. I wanted to make a video today, but I was like, I don't really know what to do. Uh, I don't really have any ideas for today. And then it just kind of hit me. I was just like, why don't I paint together jar because why not <laughs> um so that is what we are doing obviously um but i think this is coming out really really cute uh we're coming to the end of the video um obviously um so i hope you enjoyed the video and if you're going along uh, whoops <laughs> if you're going along you can pause whenever you want um get what you need to obviously make this but just have fun with it. Um, crafts is never about, like, how do I word this? Crafts is never about, like, rushing it. If you don't enjoy making it, then obviously don't make it. Uh, but if you do, don't rush at it at all. Because when you rush at it, it doesn't come out perfect. And I do uh, rush at things quite often. So what I just say is don't rush at anything, okay? Just do it. And if you enjoy doing it, then continue. If not, then you don't have to. It's completely your choice. You're your own human. And you can, or you, you should only do what you want to do. Um, so this is actually, wow, pretty good, I would say. Oh, I'm getting paint all over the place. That is okay. Because it is a craft. Um, and obviously if you don't mind getting your hands dirty, it's even better. <laughs> um, but there we have it. It is a really, really cute summer jar, and it's actually more than just a jar. You don't have to put lights in it if you don't want to. Uh, but the reason I'm putting lights in it is so that way at nighttime, if you want to use it as like a night light or whatever, you can use it as a night light. You can change it out. Uh, if it's Halloween time, you can do a Halloween themed one. If it's summertime, you can do a summertime one. If it's Christmas, you can do Christmas. You can do a Easter or spring one. It's completely up to you. You can just do space. Or gosh, you could even do a completely purple one and make it a BTS themed one. You could do, I don't know, you could paint the villagers on <laughs> uh, of Animal Crossing on here, for goodness sakes. I mean, you could do whatever you want, whatever you like, put on it. I mean, who cares, right? And it could be your own nightlight, <laughs> uh, which is why I'm making them. And then in the daytime, it will just look... Uh, more what am i how do i word it more finished and then when you take the lights out or turn them off it will look more I'm trying to think of the word <laughs> it'll look more 
it'll look more spotty when you have the lights on, and then it will look less spotty when you don't have the lights on. There we go. That's sometimes I need to stop doing something so I can actually think. I don't know if that's how your brain works as well. All right, so that does not look that good, but we're just going to ignore that. My hands are filled with paint. <laughs> I don't know if you can really see it. I was gonna rub it into my skin because why not? Um, but I'm gonna wait for this to dry, and then once that dries, then everything will be done. Uh, I'm not gonna add any clouds to the rest. Um, it is going to be the blue around the entirety of the thing. Um, cause I think that's really pretty, and if you just want to see it from this way, I ought to do a little closer up of one so you can kind of just see it a bit better. I don't know if the camera is focusing, and my hands are also shaky, but anyhow. That is what it looks like, and obviously this is the one that I did before it. Uh, this I did um, a darker purple, like a... This is darker purple, and then I did black, and then I did gray again, and then a lighter purple. So, that's that. <laughs> and then uh, I use a really, really small brush, like this brush, for instance, to, uh, to get these spots and to get these sparkles. But I'm gonna wait for this to dry, and then we will conclude the video, we'll put the lights in it, and all that sort. So I guess I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Alright, so now we are gonna be taking the lights out of here. If I can... Oh my, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this off. Take that. And then we will take the lights out. They just look like this. I just have them all bunched up. And then what we're just going to do, I'll uh, kind of do a little closer up shot so you can see what I'm doing. I just put it in and then just shove it in there. Try and fill all the things so you can see the lights from everywhere. And then you just obviously put this on. Actually, duh. You put this on first. Of course. Wait, I'm so dumb. I'm sorry for how... I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so first thing you do is you turn on the lights, because duh, you need to turn on the lights. Oh dear god, no, that does not look good, that does not look pleasant, but we are just going to ignore that. We're going to ignore all those small little brush strokes and anything that looks as ugly as it does right there. Alright, <laughs> well, it did not come out as I hoped, but you know, it lights up the room. And it's a cute little lantern. Uh, you can definitely see the sky for sure. Um, and you know, it didn't come out as bad. I, it's it's the sun. It's the sun that's really bothering me. It's just the brush strokes. If you don't do as, as harsh brush strokes, if you don't do as hard brush strokes as I did, it will not turn out like that. But if you do, it's going to turn out like this. And it doesn't look that bad. I mean, I mean it's kind of bad. But this is what it looks like, and it literally, it lights up so much. <laughs> um, and there you have it, folks. That is my little DIY Dollar Tree lantern jar candy filler holder thing, whatever you want to call it. I did it. <laughs> and you'll see in the title what it is. Uh, and the music that was playing throughout the video, you can look it up. Not look it up. You can use the link down below in the description to listen to the full thing. And credits to, I think it was Animal Crossing Music uh, YouTube channel for making that for everyone to listen to. Uh, I very, very thoroughly enjoy their music. But thank you for uh, just coming along with me and making this beautiful craft. <laughs> um, and there's the other one again. You can make whatever type of one you want. But these were mine. Uh, let's just turn it off real quick so you can just see both of them side by side. But, I mean, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, I wouldn't say it turned out terribly. It wasn't my favorite one. <laughs> um, but there you have it, folks. These are both of the jars I just made today. And, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like... Er, like, <laughs> subscribe, I don't know, subscribe. I'll put subscribe right there. <laughs> comment down below share the video whatever you want to do and thank you so very much for watching and i guess i'll see you guys in the very next video i make so bye everyone have a wonderful rest of your day i'll see you all very very soon i gotta wash up these hands good